Hello everybody and welcome to Championship Soccer Stadium at Orange County Great Park in Irvine, California for tonight's NPSL Southwest matchup between Orange County FC and newcomers AS Los Angeles. We have an exciting match for tonight. AS Los Angeles has definitely been a team at times that has been unpredictable. They've come up with some, with some good results, but also at times have had trouble finding the back of the net. And one thing in particular about AS Los Angeles is that there are two members of AS Los Angeles that used to play for Orange County FC during the 2017 and 2018 seasons. And one of those players is a very well-known name around these parts of town. That is Alessandro Canale. Scored 17 goals. It was the joint Golden Boot winner back in 2017. Really instrumental in helping Orange County FC having good runs in the playoffs in 2017 and in 2018. The other player, a defender, Alexander Ferreira, plenty of experience playing with OCFC under Paul Caligiuri. Now we are ready to get this one started. Orange County FC coming off a 2-1 loss on the road against FC Arizona. Definitely a disappointing result. Not what OCFC would want. In the, in the table for the NPSL Southwest. As for AS Los Angeles, one week ago, a 4-2 win over Temecula FC. But then just a few nights ago on a Wednesday night, a 4-0 loss to FC Golden State. So naturally, AS Los Angeles was feeling pretty upbeat after that victory over Temecula. But the 4-0 loss to FC Golden State, well, FC Golden State is one of the best teams, easily a contender for this division. And of course, can't be too surprised as FC Golden State at times has just been unstoppable. But prior to OCFC's 2-1 loss against FC Arizona, it was Orange County FC that defeated FC Golden State 4-1 at this same venue, Championship Soccer Stadium. And what a great victory that was. And we are ready to get this one underway. First, going over the starting lineups. In goal for AS Los Angeles, Andres Figueroa. Then you have Federico Bobadilla, Alessandro Canale, Manuel Chavez, Alexander Ferreira, Hugo Lopez, William Prado, Abdullah Ghazi, Sebastian Velasco, Eric Villatoro, and Christian Saravia. And as for Orange County FC, we're looking at their personnel on the field. No change in goal with Jose Pepe Miranda. Between the posts, the two center backs, Ryan Holland and Kevin Belmonte. On the outside, Dakota Lopsiger is the right back. Aaron Lombardi, the left back. And just really quickly, Jordan Sean having a little bit of trouble, already gave it away, and Kevin Belmonte having to step up and make a play. And Kevin Belmonte was a member of Orange County FC during the 2017 and 2018 seasons. Missed a good chunk of this season. He did have a spell overseas in the lower divisions of Spain, playing for Almuniacar City. So definitely some good experience for Kevin Belmonte, but also great to see him back on the field for Orange County FC. And here we go, we're just in the first minute of play, Joshua Bino playing it deep to the right corner. That's Dakota Collins playing as a right winger. This should be a little bit of a change for OCFC. Now giving away, Lobsticker trying to cross it into the penalty area, looking for Joshua Bino, but that bounce just went over his foot not what he was wanting. Ball goes all the way back to Pepe Miranda. Now Ryan Holland has been having a very good season. Three goals on this season so far. Now to Joshua Bino looking for Cody Shelton, but unable to get it to him. Now for the rest of the starting lineup for OCFC in midfield, see Jordan Sean playing as a defensive midfielder with Cody Shelton. And on the wings, you have Dewan Kim and Dakota Collins playing in the supporting attacking midfielder role. Another new, a newcomer for OCFC from Argentina, Francisco Bello. And playing up top for Orange County is Joshua Bino. He actually was brought up through the Middlesbrough Academy in England. So definitely a player to keep an eye on for this match. Now Jordan Sean getting it to Dakota Lobsiger. Now Sean nicely switching the field 
to Dawan Kim. Still Kim looking for the option, but a nice defensive play from Abdullah Ghazi. And Ghazi trying to say that the ball last deflected off of Kim, but the official does not agree. It will be a throw-in for Orange County FC. I am Artif Takari, proud to be bringing you tonight's play-by-play -play for this NPSL matchup between OCFC and AS Los Angeles on my Cujo via George Langevin Productions. Now Lobsiger trying to get something going. And right now, giving away, no foul. Collins has it, plays it to the outside to Lobsiger. Still Lobsiger. He has Ferreira on him. And Alexander Ferreira, nice defensive play. Kicking out of bounds, it will be a throw in for OCFC, but he definitely did not give up any kind of space to Lobsiger. And I'm sure Alexander Ferreira and Alessandro Canale will be plenty motivated for this one, playing against their former teammates. Now off the clearance, goes out of bounds, it will be a goal kick for AS Los Angeles. We are in the fourth minute of play, no score between Orange County FC and AS Los Angeles. Can't really be surprised with how things have been going so far. Orange County FC with the majority of possession. I think AS Los Angeles will want to be playing, relying more on the counterattacks. But now an opportunity maybe for Manuel Chavez. Try to play it to the outside, but actually instead went off of Alessandro Canale, who's wearing the captain's armband. It looks like... Chavez was looking for Eric Toro on the outside playing as a winger. Actually, really that pass earlier now, Manuel Chavez playing on the left side. So when taking a look at AS Los Angeles' formation, looks like number 10, Manuel Chavez playing on the outside, actually had a hat trick in that victory and that 4-2 win over Temecula FC. So surely he's a player that the OCFC defenders in midfield will have to keep an eye on. Excellent performance, a hat trick against Temecula FC. Now to Alexander Ferreira playing as the left back. Not a surprise, that was the position he mostly pay, played with Orange County FC as well as right back. One of the center backs here, Sebastian Velasco, playing it now to the other center back, that's Abdullah Ghazi. Looks like Hugo Lopez playing the defensive midfielder role. And now that ball getting all the way easily to Manuel Chavez, wide open, plenty of space. Now Chavez, a nice ball to Canale, but the flag comes up for offside and Canale definitely will do everything he can to get his name on the score sheet against OCFC. And what a dangerous striker he is. Also well remembered for his goal he scored nearly one year ago in the first round of the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup in that 3-0 victory over Santa Ana Wins FC of the UPSL. Now let's see if OCFC could get something going. Jordan Sean starting a move with Dakota Collins. The ball finds its way to Hugo Lopez. Now playing it back to Christian Saravia. Looks like it's Saravia and Lopez playing in the defensive midfielder role. Now Canale losing in that one to Bello. Now to Belmonte. Belmonte looking for Dawan Kim, but Abdullah Ghazi stepping in front saying, not in here. Sent up the field. Given away. Orange County FC regrouping, trying to get something going. A little bit of win tonight in Irvine. Not sure if that'll be much of a factor in this one, but good weather nonetheless. Now Bino with a good touch, trying to get it to Cody Shelton, and he is the leading scorer for Orange County FC for this 2019 NPSL season. Eight goals, and Cody Shelton, what a season he is having. Now it's Chavez to Bobadilla, playing it to the outside to Toro, but a nice defensive play from Aaron Lombardi, the left back. 
in this match so far, for so in this match in the starting lineup for OCFC, two Argentinian players. Those players, Francisco Bello and the left back, just heard his name, Aaron Lombardi. Bello comes from Buenos Aires. Lombardi from Rosario. Belmonte trying to get to Lombardi. Kind of hard for Lombardi to play it on the bounce. Dawan Kim loses possession. Now Canale looking for an option. Excellent patience. Gets it to the chest of Bobadilla. Now trying to get it back to Canale. Can he beat Belmonte to it? But it was actually Belmonte who got to it. But forced out of bounds, it will be a corner kick for AS Los Angeles. Let's see what AS Los Angeles could do with this corner kick opportunity. When comparing the two teams, we do know CFC with the better record and one of the more established teams each season, a contender in this NPSL Southwest Division, AS Los Angeles making its first appearance as an expansion team in the National Premier Soccer League. Now playing it short to Chavez. Still Chavez. Sends it into the penalty area. Goes off the head of Cody Shelton. Joshua Bino lost it. I think you had some of the AS Los Angeles coaches on the bench asking for a handball. Pretty sure you'd have to assume the referee would have blown the whistle, but decided instead to play advantage. Now it's Ferreira. He has Cody Shelton on him. Plays it back to Hugo Lopez. Now to Velasco. To Ghazi. Back to Velasco. Ferreira feeling the pressure of Dakota Collins. The throw in for Orange County and Joshua Bino not wasting any time taking the throw. Getting the pass from Lopsiger. Now Bino trying to keep it alive to get the ball towards Bayo, a nice slide tackle from Saravia. Now Lombardi with the cross, this could be trouble. Looking for Shelton and Velasco doing a great job getting his head on that one to break it up. Ball finds its way to Jordan Sean. Looking for Dawan Kim, now off the head of Ghazi. Now Lopez, William Prado. Had it for a moment, but was unable to keep possession. And Aaron Lombardi taken down. And it will be a free kick for Orange County FC. And a very good scoring opportunity. We have played 10 minutes so far. 0-0 Orange County FC and AS Los Angeles. This has definitely been one of those up and down seasons for Orange County FC. But after that 2-1 loss to FC Arizona one week ago in Mesa, they'll be desperately wanting to get that victory and those important three points. Now here comes the free kick. Is it going to be Lombardi? Looks like it might be Bayo instead. He shoots. And what a save. The rebound and a goal. It's Joshua Bino. Orange County FC takes a 1-0 lead. And that's Joshua Bino's first goal as a member of Orange County FC. And talk about getting into the right place at the right time. That's exactly what Joshua Bino did. And it is 1-0 Orange County FC. Good start for Orange County. They'll want to build on this lead. A lot of time left. But you really got to like the save made by the AS Los Angeles keeper, Andres Figueroa. Pretty much did all he could to keep that one out of the net. But that rebound, of course, you got to comment on a very heads up play from Joshua Bino playing up front as the lone striker. Like I said earlier, definitely one of those changes from head coach Paul Caligiuri. At times this season, we have seen Dakota Collins playing up top as a lone striker, but Dakota Collins or Joshua Bino easily able to play multiple positions. And you got to love 
what Paul Caligiuri has available. So we're in the 13th minute of the play. That goal coming in the 11th minute for Bino. And Dawan Kim falls down. Easy call for the official. The AS Los Angeles players not agreeing with the call. But from here, seemed to be a pretty easy call. Ball is back in play. It's Jordan Sean. Now Lobsiger. Getting it to Bayo. Now Cody Shelton to Dawan Kim. Aaron Lombardi. Getting a nice touch back from Dawan Kim. This time the referee says no foul will be a goal kick for AS Los Angeles. Here we go, ball ready to come back and play. Earlier I mentioned AS Los Angeles probably will, will want to rely on counterattacks and set pieces to score. And with this game, it definitely has been Orange County FC that has been dominating possession and creating more opportunities. So reviewing both team seasons so far, AS Los Angeles started the season with a 1-0 loss to FC Arizona, but then followed it up with a 1-0 win against Albion. A huge upset that was. Only goal that game was scored by Angel Vasquez. Now Alessandro Canale, as always, doing everything he can. And that guy definitely knows how to create scoring opportunities. Any kind of slip up from the OCFC defenders can easily lead to a goal for Canale. For AS Los Angeles, after that, a 2-1 loss at City of Angels and a 1-1 tie against Oxnard. Also, a 2-1 loss to High Desert Elite. Then a 1-1 tie against Riverside, and they followed that with a 4-2 victory over Temecula. And, of course, the last game they played, a 4-0 loss to FC Golden State. So prior to that 4-2 win over Temecula, I mean, AS Los Angeles was not able, did not have any multi-goal games. So not a lot of offense from this team, but at the same time, you could also say that their defense has been stout. Now Chavez getting it to Canale. Canale, now to Prado. Playing it on the outside to Toro. Trying to cross it, but good defensive play from Dawan Kim. Prado once again, looking for an option. He's got Saravia. Toro again. And you got to like the defensive play and the effort from Dawan Kim doing everything he can to put a stop to any kind of attack from AS Los Angeles. Now Ferreira to Chavez. Looking for Bobadilla, and now it's Canale. It's definitely some physical play taking place and can't be surprised if it involves Canale. He's the kind of player you, where you basically say that you love having him on your team, but you hate playing against him. And on that instance, the referee whistling Canale for the foul. The linesman saw it as well. And Pepe Miranda not in a hurry to send this one out. So AS Los Angeles on the season Two victories, the 1-0 the win against Albion and the 4-2 victory against Temecula. Then four defeats and also two ties. Those ties were against Oxnard and against Riverside Coras. So it has not been a bad season for AS Los Angeles. I believe they've played one game less than Orange County FC. But not sure if that game in hand is going to have much of a difference uh, if towards the standings as we get closer to the end of the season. It's Manuel Chavez playing it towards Canale, but the flag does come up. And Canale looking at the officials, and he cannot believe it. But we've seen this before. 
from many strikers in the NPSL or in soccer in general. Now Collins to Bayo for the outside to Kim. Still Dawan Kim. Still has it, still Dawan Kim. And that really could have been something special if he was able to hold possession. Now Alessandro Canale coming back to help out. Plays it to the outside of Chavez, but Dakota Lobsiger, great job at taking possession away, getting it to Shelton. Now Bino. Now Bino was unable to keep it. Now Prado looking for Bobadilla, but Pepe Miranda very wisely coming off his line taking away any kind of opportunity. He obviously did not want to see a one-on-one -on -one breakaway. And that's what you gotta love about Miranda. A very experienced keeper, knows when to come off his line. And across from Collins, headed out, almost got to Cody Shelton. Now Ryan Holland is gonna have his hands full all day if he's the one marking Alessandro Canale. We are in the 19th minute of play. It is 1-0 Orange County FC on the goal scored by Joshua Bino in the fourth in the excuse me in the 11th minute of play. I think I got a little mixed up. He's wearing number 14. But yes, he did score in the 11th minute. That free kick from Bayo. Great save from Figueroa of AS Los Angeles, but was unable to tip the ball out of bounds or corral it. And the rebound going right to Bino. And Bino, being patient, was onside. And that's how OCFC leaves 1-0. Now Canale taking advantage of a ball going his way. Some contact from behind. Referee does not blow the whistle. I was kind of maybe expecting one there. But now off the head of Lombardi. Maybe an opportunity in front. And it was Bobadilla. It was in that mix-up in the penalty area. Scary moment for Pepe Miranda and Orange County FC. Now back the other way, Dakota Collins trying to get it to Cody Shelton. Figueroa comes out. He did get a hand on it, but does a good job as well, clearing it out of bounds. And talk about how quickly momentum can shift in a game. Some mistakes, some shaky play by the OCFC defenders almost led to a goal for AS Los Angeles. But now back the other way, Orange County FC getting close to a scoring opportunity as well. Lobsiger played it to Collins, broken up. Now Jordan Sean, the defensive midfielder, getting in on the action. Bino with the cross. And that one headed out of bounds by Abdullah Ghazi, and it will be a corner kick for Orange County FC. And it will be Bayo to take the corner. And earlier when talking about this up and down season for Orange County FC, both losses on the season have been to FC Arizona. And pretty ironic considering in the six meetings between the two teams in 2017 and 2018, Arizona was unable to score on OCFC. Now the corner kick, Dakota Collins climbing high for that one. I think he felt there might have been a little bit of contact, but the referee says goal kick for AS Los Angeles. Ball is back in the play. Now Kevin Belmonte stepping in front of that possible pass that could have led to Canale. Now Lobsiger trying to do a little give and go with Dakota Collins, but did not really did not really work to perfection. Now back the other way, it's Alessandro Canale. Still Canale. Contact from Dawan Kim. And this time the referee blows the whistle. And from here, it's a call I definitely was expecting. And now tempers flaring a little bit. Looks like Canale was not very happy with Francisco Bale. A little bit of a shove. I think Canale needs to be a little careful. I don't think he will want to get a yellow card this early, or obviously not at all for this game. Referee 
giving a verbal warning to both players. And afterwards, good to see that both players shook hands. But nonetheless, free kick for AS Los Angeles. Looks like it's going to be via Toro or Chavez. It will be Chavez. Goes off the head of Kevin Belmonte. Hugo Lopez plays it all the way back to Velasco. To Saravia. Back to Velasco. Now it's Lopez. That one broken up by Bino. And he goes straight to Jordan Sean. Now Bayo to Jordan Sean. Is he going to rip it from outside? He does, but puts it a little high, and it will be a goal kick for AS Los Angeles. And bringing up the standings for the NPSL Southwest. It's FC Golden State currently on top. After nine games played, seven wins, one loss, and a tie. That only loss coming to Orange County FC. That 4-1 victory for OCFC a couple weeks ago at Championship Soccer Stadium. So FC Golden State on top of the table with 22 points. FC Arizona also has 22 points, six wins, and four ties. They have yet to be defeated. And FC Arizona in second place at the moment, but has played one more game than FC Golden State and Orange County FC. And yes, it is OCFC third place on the table with six wins, two losses, and a tie. Those two losses to FC Arizona and that one very disappointing tie, 2-2 to Temecula FC. They had a 2-0 lead and surrendered two late goals. Orange County FC with 19 points and trailing right behind them with 16 points, it's Albion Soccer Club San Diego. So not much breathing room for OCFC. But I think from the standpoint of head coach Paul Caligiuri, when you look at those two losses and also the tie, of course the truth is some dropped points for OCFC. But we all know not there's, there's no time to dwell on past results, but now back the other way, maybe an opportunity here. Crossed in front, not even crossed, just sent high. High over the bar, that was Dakota Collins. And that was a really good scoring opportunity. And that was also, it looks like it was, for one moment, it looked as if it was gonna be the end of this goal scoring drought for Dakota Collins. He started the season scoring a goal against City of Angels. One week later in that 6-1 win over Oxnard, Dakota Collins scored a hat trick. Then in that 3-1 loss in the third game of the season to FC Arizona, Dakota Collins scored a goal from the penalty spot but also missed from the penalty spot as well. And believe it or not, since then, Dakota Collins has yet to find the back of the net. So surely... He would like to put an end to that goal scoring drought and that opportunity just came. Now here comes another attack. Cody Shelton with the quick touch to Collins that they're playing on the right side. Nice move from Collins. Crosses it, headed out momentarily by Gazi. Now Shelton from outside, he wanted to pull the trigger. Excellent footwork still, Shelton. Now to Collins, he shoots. The flag did come up, but aside from that, what a save from Andres Figueroa. But before that, the footwork, the moves from Cody Shelton. Wow, had that, you know, had that resulted in a goal, I mean, what a goal that would have been. We are in the 27th minute of play. Orange County FC leads 1-0. Now trying to send it to Manuel Chavez. Goes out of bounds, will be a throw in for OCFC. Lobsiger quickly playing it to Collins. Still Lobsiger. Back to the center back from England, Ryan Holland. Now getting it to Bino, Bino doing the dummy play. Maybe he was thinking that Cody Shelton would be moving towards that one. But it went right to Figueroa. Now Toro playing on the right side. 
Gotta like the speed he brings to this AS Los Angeles team. AS Los Angeles, two wins, four losses, and two ties on the season, coached by Andres Letera from Argentina. Velasco. Good patience from the center back. William Prado, unable to keep possession. Bino had it momentarily. Ball finds its way back now to Saravia. And Chavez yelling out to his teammates to reset. Lopez to Canale. And Canale, plenty of space. He knows he has Chavez on the outside. Masset plays it to William Prado. Now Prado getting it to Chavez, but a good defensive play from Lossiger. Now Chavez again with the shot, and that one hitting the side of the net. You gotta like the build-up play from AS Los Angeles. They're only they're down one nothing. Orange County FC has been the better team tonight, but a one nothing deficit. And play, but one nothing deficit, obviously, it's only one goal, but there's plenty of time for AS Los Angeles to try and get back in this one. But from the standpoint of Orange County FC, this is one of those games where you want to keep attacking, you want to keep creating those chances, and widen the lead. When you go back to that victory for Orange County FC over FC Golden State, once it was 1-1, and Cody Shelton scored to make it 2-1 right before the end of the half. And that was the confidence Orange County FC needed. And to start the second half, came out firing on all cylinders and made the score 4-1. Once you saw that it was a three-goal lead, it was pretty noticeable that FC Golden State was deflated. Now Dakota Collins getting that cross off his chest. Unable to keep possession. And Chavez looking for Canale. Canale has got Belmonte on him still. Canale faked the shot. Ryan Holland with the slide for a moment. Now Canale playing it to the outside of the Toro. Crossed in front. Good defensive play from Aaron Lombardi. But it will be a corner kick for AS Los Angeles. We are in the 30th minute of play. And AS Los Angeles trying to find a way to get on the scoreboard. Orange County FC with a one nothing lead on the goal scored by Joshua Bino in the 11th minute of play. And here comes the corner. And Canale, it's like he might have got his head on it, but now Lobsiger trying to start the counterattack for Orange County FC. Saravia trying to send it back in towards Canale. Not sure if the flag would have come up, but back the other way, here comes OCFC. Cody Shelton playing it deep towards Joshua Bino. He is able to keep it in play. Still Bino. Back to Lombardi. Orange County FC determined to widen the lead at home in front of the home supporters. The championship soccer, soccer stadium header in front. And that right there was trouble for AS Los Angeles. Looks like Bayo might have got a little bit on the ball, but it does go out of bounds for a goal kick for AS Los Angeles. Now the goal kick from Figueroa, Ryan Holland. Climbing high to get his head on that one. Gotta love the effort from Holland. Play towards Manuel Chavez. But Aaron Lombardi with a good defensive play. Shelton with the back header. He was trying to get it to Collins. Now it's Canale. Playing it back to Prado. Still Prado, not a lot of space. A lot of blue shirts around him, but in situations like those, that's when he needs to look to the outside or behind him to find that outlet. Ball not cleared, finds its way to Canale. And Canale 
furious over the non-call. Pretty sure everyone in the stadium able to hear his reaction. I think it's possible maybe even people outside the stadium might have heard that. Lopez playing it to Canale. Canale trying to get past Kevin Belmonte. Excellent defensive play. And that is where the danger really comes from Alessandro Canale. And now a whistle behind the scenes. Looks like Canale and Cody Sheldon having some words. Now this is what we really do not want to see. And Canale gets himself in the book and so does Cody Sheldon in the 33rd minute of play. And that taking place behind the play. And that's something I think everyone will be keeping an eye on the rest of the night. So hard to see, hard to, you know, guess what's going to happen here. Probably just going to be a drop kick. I'm assuming a ball is going to go possibly to back to OCFC. And right now it seems like we're hearing some kind of confusion. Let's say like we're hearing some confusion of some of the AS Los Angeles players saying that the ball was theirs. But either way, Manuel Chavez off the drop ball, kicks it out of bounds. It will be a throw in for Orange County FC. The ball back in the play, it's Lobsiger playing it to Ryan Holland. Broken up by Chavez to Prado. Now Lopez to Alexander Ferreira. Velasco getting it to the other center back, Abdullah Ghazi. Ferreira once again, unable to keep it in play, will be a throw in for Orange County FC. The ball back in play, it's Jordan Sean switching the field, playing it deep towards Dawan Kim. He did actually keep it in bounds. The AS Los Angeles players did not agree. And Eric Villatoro trying to keep it alive and trying to get it to Alessandro Canale, but the ball did go out of bounds. And it's once again, situations like those where Canale could be very dangerous. And I was in the middle of talking about his situation when he was going up against Kevin Belmonte. And we got interrupted by the yellow cards from behind the play. But with Alessandro Canale, there's times where you're able to frustrate him and take away those scoring opportunities on those 50-50 chances. But on some of those, if he's able to f use his physicality to keep possession, lots of the times he will find himself in a very excellent goal scoring opportunity. And of course, Kevin Belmonte and the other center back, Ryan Holland will be really busy Defending Canale, now off the give and go, Manuel Chavez, little upset I believe with Hugo Lopez. Lopez assumed Chavez would be available on that give and go, but said the ball goes out of bound, went out of bounds. Little bit of miscommunication. At times we have seen players from both teams being a little frustrated with one another, but. For this match, more of the frustration has come from the players wear, wearing the orange shirts. Nice slide tackle from Velasco, but now Aaron Lombardi with an opportunity, not having much room. Now Canale with a very nice back heel. Ball sent down the field. It's Bobadilla. He's got Ryan Holland to beat. And Ryan Holland receiving some help from Dakota Lobsiger. And a great play from Lausiger to clear it to Dakota Collins. He's got Ferreira on him, playing it towards Bayo. It looks like Bayo might have picked up an injury. He's on the ground, looking like it might be his ankle. 
Now Belmonte trying to clear it, it did go off his foot, but it was not an intentional back pass to the keeper. Now play stops with Bayo on the ground. It appears Bayo will be okay. And from the standpoint of the OCFC bench, I'm sure they're maybe holding their breaths a little bit, would not want to see an injury this early. I mean, of course, don't want to see an injury at all to any of their players. Don't know where I was going with that one. But Bayo with a good debut performance so far for Orange County FC. He did take that free kick that led to the goal from Joshua Bino. Now Miranda plays it to Lombardi. Still Lombardi, what excellent moves he has. Now Jordan Sean looking to play it to Dakota Lobsiger, but Lobsiger had already started moving forward. And now Lobsiger Getting it back, switching the field, looking for Dawan Kim. At times, for tonight, it seems like the wind is picking up a little. Temperature dropping a little bit as well. Now Via Toro playing it to the outside. It's Canale once again. To Prado. Now Chavez to Canale. Bobadilla gets it back to Canale. Let's say Canale leaves it for Lopez. It's Manuel Chavez, still Chavez. And looks like there was a foul, and yes, the whistle is blown. It will be a penalty kick for AS Los Angeles. And the perfect opportunity to tie up the score. And from here, if I were to take a guess, it looks like it will be Alessandro Canale to take the penalty. And on that foul, looks like it was a foul committed by Dakota Lobsiger on Manuel Chavez, and Canale to take the penalty in the 40th minute. Here comes the kick from Canale. He shoots, and a save by Pepe Miranda! What a save, and it remains 1-0 Orange County FC. And right now, Something's going on involving the official, and it looks like my celebration might have been a little premature. I looks like the kick will be retaken because of encroachment from Orange County FC. Wow, unbelievable. So will Alessandro Canale be able to tie up the score? Here comes the kick, he shoots and he scores. Puts it up top. Miranda guesses wrong and it is 1-1 between Orange County FC and AS Los Angeles. AS Los Angeles goal. And that goal coming in the 41st minute of play. Number nine, Alessandro Canale. And definitely the confidence AS Los Angeles needs as we get closer to the end of the first half. And for Orange County FC, wow, just that feeling just for maybe a few seconds of joy, that exciting feeling of saving a penalty. Well, did not last very long. Kick was ordered to be retaken on encroachment and Alessandro Canale converts. Hugo Lopez feeling the pressure from Francisco Bayo. Now Saravia playing it to Ghazi. Not a Velasco. Now, how will this change the game? It's 1 1. And in all honesty, I can't see it changing the game very much. Orange County FC has been creating more opportunities, but AS Los Angeles as well at times able to start some decent counter-attack opportunities. Now to the outside, will this be another chance for Los Angeles? Toro playing it back to Saravia, trying to cross it, good block by Lombardi. 
Lopez playing it to Saravia once again, now looking for Canale. Lobsiger getting his head on that one. Now to Bino, and Bino of course knows Lobsiger is, was basically, I was about to say, available on the overlap, but Lobsiger decides to play it to the left side to Bayo. Now Dawan Kim, Kim sending into the penalty area. He had Bino there and possibly, and even Cody Shelton, but Andres Figueroa coming out to put a stop to that attack. And Lobsiger, now Lombardi. It's 1-1 Orange County FC and AS Los Angeles. Orange County FC took the lead in the 11th minute through Joshua Bino and AS Los Angeles equalizing in the 41st minute from the penalty spot. Goal scored by Alessandro Canale, former member of Orange County FC, now wearing the captain's armband for AS Los Angeles. I'm Ardith Takari bringing you tonight's play-by-play -play on My Cujo via George Langevin Productions. Now the throw in from Via Toro, going off the head of Lombardi. But now a handball from Jordan Sean, easy call for the official, free kick. And it was William Prado who was trying to get something going on that possible move for AS Los Angeles. Now right now these are clearly the very crucial times of this game. Got a little under a minute and a half remaining in the first half. It's likely there will be maybe a minute or two of stoppage time. Now Dawan Kim, and a, what a defensive play that was from Sebastian Velasco. He did clear the ball, but aside from clearing the ball, got made plenty of contact with Dawan Kim. Off the throw in Lombardi. Now let's see what AS Los Angeles could do. Coming the other way, Prado getting it to Canale. And what a nice move from Canale. Still has it. I think he wanted to get it to Chavez earlier, but he gets it to him now. Chavez with the cross. Maybe an opportunity in front. Headed out. And now can OCFC turn this into a great counterattack opportunity? Joshua Bino waiting for options. He's got Bayo. Still Bayo eluding that slide tackle. Got it to Shelton. Now ball finds his way back to Bayo. Plays it to the outside to Dawan Kim. Still Kim. Got past Lopez. Trying to cross it. He does. Not much available where that ball went. But it does come to Dakota Lobsiger. We are in stoppage time of the first half. Can OCFC find a way to score a late one before the whistle blows and Lombardi teeing off from pretty far. Not a bad attempt. Goes a little high and it will be a goal kick for AS Los Angeles. And you can also hear Andres Figueroa telling his players not to give him that much room to shoot. Not a surprise to hear that. You give them that room, especially even Lombardi or anyone on OCFC, give them that room, they will take a shot. Now the flick header from Canale. Goes straight to Ryan Holland. Now to Pepe Miranda. Now Dakota Collins trying to bring it down. He did. And Hugo Lopez trying to clear it. Now down the ground. Referee was not going to call a foul there. Now the cross. Bino getting his head on it. Headed out by Ferreira right to the center. It's Jordan Sean. Now to Bayo. It's Lobsiger from the outside trying to cross it, but a good defensive play from Hugo Lopez. Ryan Holland joining in on the fun. Getting it to Dakota Collins, then to Lobsiger, and a nice slide tackle from Alexander Ferreira. Will be a throw in for Orange County FC, and it's situations like these where it's got to be Cody Shelton to take this throw in deep in AS Los Angeles territory, but that will not happen. As the whistle blows, it is halftime. Orange County FC and AS Los Angeles tied up at one. 
Joshua Bino scored in the 11th minute. And of course, the equalizing goal from the penalty spot for Alessandro Canale in the 41st minute of play. I'm Artis Takari bringing you tonight's play-by-play. -play. We'll be back in 15 minutes for the second half. We'd like to, at this time, actually wish a very special happy birthday to someone in the crowd who is very near and dear to Ocean. Hello, everybody. Welcome back for the second half between Orange County FC and AS Los Angeles. I'm Artif Takari bringing you tonight's play-by-play -play on Mike Cujo via George Langevin Productions. We are at Championship Soccer Stadium at Orange County Great Park in Irvine, California for this entertaining NPSL Southwest matchup. Score is tied 1-1. Orange County FC struck first in the 11th minute of play through Joshua Bino. But AS Los Angeles equalizing in the 41st minute from the penalty spot through Alessandro Canale. And that is where we stand with the score tied 1-1. And Orange County FC will badly be wanting to get this victory tonight after a 2-1 loss last week to FC Arizona. And maybe an opportunity for Dawan King with the cross. Missing a shot and a save made. What a stop that was from AS Los Angeles. Wow, do you believe what you just saw? A perfect opportunity to score for Orange County FC. The score remains tied 1-1. Here comes a throw in from Cody Shelton. Header from Ryan Holland. And it will be a goal kick for AS Los Angeles. Trying to see if there's been any kind of activity from either bench regarding substitutions. And ball is back in the play. And it looks like we have seen one change. It appears that it was Dan looks it appears that it was Daniel Tenbosch who has come in for Jordan Sean. So that's definitely one change for Orange County FC. And Daniel Tenbosch playing at the right wing position. And I believe it was it was Tenbosch who had one of those opportunities to score and a nice stop. It's like it was a combination of Andres Figueroa and some of the other AS Los Angeles defenders. But either way, we remain 1-1, but Orange County FC knocking on the door. Definitely showing that they are in no mood to have this be a disappointing draw. Now Dakota Collins getting it to Dakota Lopsiger. Now to Ten Bosch. And as for the AS Los Angeles personnel, doesn't appear to have been any changes. Now here's Marco Bello. Correction from what I was saying in the first half. One of the newest members of Orange County FC who comes from Argentina and has played before at the youth levels for Argentinos Juniors. And maybe an opportunity in the front for Lombardi. And what a save! And it goes out of bounds for a corner kick. Unbelievable. And Aaron Lombardi cannot believe it. He thought he had surely put OCFC back in front. And Andres Figueroa coming up with some clutch saves early on in the second half. Here comes the corner kick. Headed in front and the goal! Orange County FC! Back in front, 
And what a nice header that was to put OCFC back in front off the corner kick from Francisco Bello. Two one Orange County FC. And it looks like it was Cody Shelton who got his head on the ball to make it two one for Orange County FC. FC's goal. Score is now two to one. Goal by number twelve, Daniel Tenbosch. And correction. From the announcement from the PA, it looks like it was Daniel Tenbosch, but now given away, maybe a chance for OCFC. And goes just wide. And this time, it was Dakota Collins who came so close to making it 3-1. And right now, this is the time to strike once again. And it looks like AS Los Angeles getting a little rattled from that goal. And can OCFC widen the lead and put this one away? And that goal coming in the 48th minute. Now Kevin Belmonte plays it back to Pepe Miranda. Now Eric Villatoro trying to bring it down. He had Dawan Kim and Aaron Lombardi on him and he got the ball to William Prado. Now looking for Canale. Looks like he got a small touch on that with his head. But right to Miranda. Now Lobsiger and Joshua Bino drawing the contact from Sebastian Velasco will be a free kick for OCFC. In the 52nd minute of play, it's 2-1 Orange County FC. Daniel Tenbosch putting OCFC in front and AS Los Angeles making a change. Alexander Ferreira coming out. A good night for Ferreira. Looks like he's replaced by Christian Robles. Now Ryan Holland, the ball is back in play, gets to Dakota Collins. Now Lombardi. Playing it to the left side to Dawan Kim, and he did keep it in bounds. Dawan Kim still has it. Can he get a shot off? Plenty of speed he had into that AS Los Angeles penalty area. Now Aaron Lombardi on the outside. Always dangerous with the left foot. Still Lombardi. Plays it to Dawan Kim. Kim decides to switch the field to Lobsiger. Now Bino. Still Bino shoots from outside. Off the bounce, Andres Figaro able to get his knee on it. Gotta like the attempt from Bino, testing Figaro from outside the penalty area. And OCFC just determined to widen the lead. They've been the better team throughout the night. And to start this second half, it has been all OCFC. A little bit of a mix up, but Ryan Holland playing it back to Kevin Belmonte. Now Lombardi to Shelton. Ball finds his way back to Cody Shelton. Now it's Bello to Collins. Now maybe an opportunity for Tenbosch. Deflected, it will be another corner for OCFC. A corner kick for OCFC. 
Waiting for this one to get back in the play. And here comes the corner. Keeper staying in his staying in his line. Maybe a chance. Sent up in the air, not cleared out just yet. A lot of traffic. Can Dawan Kim get a shot off? Even talk about traffic. Even the referee got in the way of that one a little bit. But now the other way, an excellent opportunity on the counter attack for AS Los Angeles. Alessandro Canale. He's got Belmonte in front of him. Now Bobadilla with the shot. Deflected. And by this time, plenty of blue shirts to come back to provide help. And Orange County FC putting a stop to that counter-attack opportunity for AS Los Angeles. And Bino playing it back to Tenbosch. Now it's Bino once again. And Dawan Kim on the opposite side of the field asking for it. Dakota Collins quick thinking gets it to Aaron Lombardi. Now it's Kim. Trying to get to Cody Shelton. Didn't get it right to his feet, but Shelton had to go back and chase it. Canale. To Prado. Looking for Canale once again, and he does have Canale. And a nice play from Kevin Belmonte to break up that move from Canale. He was easily going to want to get one of his teammates involved. Now maybe a chance for OCFC. The other side of the field, Tenbosch did not get much on it. Goes right to Figueroa. And Canale was looking good once again on that move. Obviously would have wanted to get Federico Bobadilla involved. But a great play from one of the center backs, Kevin Belmonte. Actually played his college soccer nearby at Vanguard University. And as I mentioned earlier, had a spell overseas in Spain with Almuñacar City. Manuel Chavez plays it back to Prado. Prado teeing off. Goes a bit high. Will be a goal kick for OCFC. We are in the 58th minute of play. It's 2-1 Orange County FC. Now Joshua Bino trying to get something going, but Saravia able to step in front, and now Bino whistled for a foul, and that'll be an easy call, and he gets himself in the book in the 58th minute of play. Joshua Bino scored the first goal of the night, but now gets himself in the book with a yellow card in the 58th minute. Not sure if that's going to lead to a substitution from Paul Caligiuri. Ball's back in the play. It's Manuel Chavez. Always dangerous. It was his move that led to the foul committed by Dakota Lobsiger that led to the penalty kick for AS Los Angeles that was scored by Alessandro Canale. And let's not forget Chavez's hat trick nearly one week ago against Temecula FC. Ball is back in the play. Now Joshua Bino, plenty of speed. Can he get past Velasco? He does, cross it in front. Gazi steps in front of that one, now a shot from Tenbosch. Nice defensive play from Velasco. Ball is cleared to Canale. An excellent help provided by Prado as he gets it to the outside to Chavez. And Lobsiger doing his best to shield the ball. And it does go out of bounds. It will be a goal kick for OCFC. <coughs> but keep an eye on that matchup for the rest of the night. Late in the first half, it was Chavez who got the best of Lobsiger as the foul led to a penalty kick. A nice ball to Dawan Kim. Kim has Ghazi to beat. 
Still Kim looking for help. It's deflected. Cleared out, looking for Bobadilla. But Belmonte stepped in front of that one for a moment, but now William Prado plays it to the outside of the Chavez. He's looking for Canale. And Canale, like he always does, great job bringing it down from the air. And Canale, a little frustrated that his ball was unable to get to Federico Bobadilla, but we will see another substitution for AS Los Angeles. So Christopher Rebet coming on for Federico Bobadilla. And Rebet can be, of course, one of those dangerous players for AS Los Angeles. I believe he did have a goal in that game against Temecula FC. And a nice move on the dummy from Bello. Gets it to Bino. Now to Tenbosch on the outside. He still has it. Still Tenbosch. Crossed in front. Nearly cleared out. Still trouble for AS Los Angeles. Dakota Collins. Try and do something with it. Surrounded by defenders. Why is he playing it back to Lombardi? Now to the other side of the field to Lobsiger. Now to Tenbosch. Tenbosch playing it back towards Lobsiger, but the flag came up for offside. And yes, it was Christopher Ribet who did score that other goal in the 4-2 victory over Temecula FC. So I think it's safe to say that Ribet might be one of those secret weapons off the bench for AS Los Angeles. Ball is back in the play. Hugo Lopez. And we have seen our fair share of physical play throughout the night. But cannot be surprising as both teams badly want this victory. I think AS Los Angeles would be thrilled to leave here with a point. But for OCFC, a tie at home might as well be considered like another defeat. And once again, things getting chippy, tempers flaring. And Canale with a little bit of a shove, and he with a little bit of a shove, and he's got to be careful because he did get a yellow car in the first half because of that tussle with Cody Shelton. So another yellow card for him would lead to him going straight to the locker room for the rest of this game. Off the free kick, ball back in the play. Not much coming about from that one for Los Angeles. Now Cody Shelton playing it to the outside to Dawan Kim. Kim knows he has Lombardi on the overlap. And that's where he goes. Now can Lombardi turn that corner and get past Saravia? But did get the chance to cross it, but it went straight to Velasco. And now given away on that clearance to Sh Cody Shelton. Now Tenbosch over to Lobsiger. Back to Tenbosch to Collins. And Cody Shelton, not in a hurry to force anything. And that basically should be the mindset. Orange County FC, of course, looking to wind the lead, get that insurance goal. But also no need to force anything that could lead to a turnover. Playing with a 2-1 lead, we are in the 64th minute of play. AS Los Angeles has already made two substitutions, but only one from Orange County FC. A free kick for OCFC, off the quick restart. Dawan Kim down the left side with the cross. Finds his way to Shelton. Cleared back into the penalty area. William Prado able to clear it. And a nice move. 
Able to keep it in play, crossed in front towards Miranda, and a sliding Canale coming dangerously close to maybe tie in the game, but it did take a deflection and it will be a corner kick for AS Los Angeles. And that's Christopher Ribet with plenty of speed we just saw down the right side. Like I said earlier, I was guessing he's probably one of the secret weapons off the bench for AS Los Angeles and cannot be surprised when you see his speed and what he's able to do. Here comes the corner kick for AS Los Angeles. And that one looks like it went off the head of Cody Shelton. Joshua Bino trying to get something going for a counterattack, but Chavez playing it back quickly to Ribet. Still Ribet, unable to keep possession. It will be a goal kick for OCFC. It looks like we will see a substitution for Orange County. And at the same time, we do also have an injured player from AS Los Angeles. From here, hard to see who the substitution is. Guessing might be a substitution made involving the midfield. Well, the ball is back in the play, so I guess the substitution will be on hold. Dakota Collins playing it to Dawan Kim. Bello to Shelton. Back to Francisco Bello. Joshua Bino with a nice move, taking the shot, but putting it way too high over the net. Will be a goal kick for AS Los Angeles. Not sure if we will see that substitution yet for Orange County, but there's definitely one ready to be made. We are in the 68th minute of play NPSL Southwest action between Orange County FC and AS Los Angeles. It's Orange County FC with a 2-1 lead. It looks like it will be Dawan Kim coming off. What a good night for Dawan Kim. And Andrew Hernandez coming in to replace Dawan Kim. So a good night from Dawan Kim, as always. Excellent with his ball control and speed. Andrew Hernandez coming on by the last 23 minutes. And Cody Shelton climbing high to get his head on that goal kick. Taken down will be a free kick for Orange County FC. Ball back in the play. It's Lombardi. To Bello. Back to Lombardi. Got the Argentinian duo for OCFC. Another foul, another free kick for Orange County FC. It looks like it was Andrew Hernandez taken down. Just came on the field a couple minutes ago. Now can Orange can Orange County FC? Find a way to extend the lead. It looks like it will be Bello to take the free kick. And Bello has played before with Argentinos Juniors and San Lorenzo. And here it comes from Bello. Was a good delivery. Cleared out. Now Ribet. Plenty of speed. Can Andrew Hernandez catch up to him? Doing his best. And a good job by Andrew Hernandez. Excellent job to come back and put a stop to that, but given away by Bello, it's William Prado. Crossed towards Canale, a header and a goal, it's 2-2. And just like that, 
and Alessandro Canales strikes again, this time in the 70th minute of play. 70th minute, number nine, Alessandro Canales. And what a finish we may have here tonight at Championship Soccer Stadium. And that giveaway leading to the goal, the assist to William Prado. And like I've said before, if you give Alessandro Canale those opportunities, he will take them. Now Bello playing it to the outside to Lombardi. Still Lombardi. Looking, had Shelton for a moment, tried to get to Dakota Collins. Broken up momentarily. Now how will Orange County FC respond to this? Been up 2-1 for most of the half. Now the score is 2-2 and now a yellow card for AS Los Angeles. Looks like that one is going to one of the other second half substitutes in Christian Robles. Waiting for the ball to get back into play. It's Joshua Bino. And looks like Joshua Bino will be getting, it looks like it was gonna be possibly his second yellow card. Not sure if the official is rethinking her decision because of the pressure from the AS Los Angeles defenders, but Bino did slide for the ball. And Saravia down on the ground. Not sure if this will be a yellow card, but if it is a yellow card for Bino, then it will mean the end of his night. You have the AS Los Angeles players and the AS Los Angeles bench asking for that second yellow card. And now Bino being subbed off and the AS Los Angeles bench irate. And coming in for Joshua Bino is Nedin Zukanovic. And that situation, if that were to have been a yellow card for Joshua Bino, that would have meant OCFC playing the remainder of the match with 10 men. But when looking back at that call, I truly feel that the referee was not, the official was not going for the yellow card right away, it really became one of those situations where you had the players from AS Los Angeles asking and pressuring the referee to hand out that yellow card. And in situations like that, you pretty much gotta say, you know, forget about it. the referee was not going for the card, let it go, it's over with. And that's one of those really difficult situations and it's one of those situations for me to comment on where I'll say that's reasons like those that I definitely would not want to be an official for soccer. Now back the other way. Across from Ribet, had he been able to connect with Alessandro Canale, that really would have been trouble for Orange County FC. Now Andrew Hernandez, playing a forward to the other sub who just came on. That's once again, Nedin Zukanovic. Played college soccer at University of Louisville in Kentucky. Also at Marymount College. His family comes from Bosnia-Herzegovina. So with the score tied 2-2, we are in the 75th minute of play. Will we see one of these teams score a late winner? And right now, AS Los Angeles really 
picking up the intensity. It's Ribet. Cleared out. Daniel Tenbosch looking to get something going. But a man, but Chavez with a nice defensive play draws the contact and a free kick for AS Los Angeles. That's Manuel Chavez who's had a good night tonight. Cleared down the field off the free kick. Another special thank you to one of our sponsors. And from the standpoint of AS Los Angeles, when you have free kicks like those and you just clear the ball down the field for a throw in, it's these kinds, it's these kinds of clearances where they're gonna look back and just be very upset. Every opportunity here is huge, especially playing on the road. Chavez with a throw in. Ryan Holland doing a good job stepping in front of that one that was intended for Canale. Now given away, Prado had it. Now a little mistake from Belmonte and Ribet with the shot, but what a nice save from Pepe Miranda to force a corner kick. And it's these kinds of giveaways from Orange County FC that are extremely dangerous. Now it's AS Los Angeles knocking on the door, looking for that go-ahead goal. And here comes the corner kick. Ryan Holland getting his head on that one. Sent back in by Lopez. A header from Chavez. Goes just over the bar, hitting the top of the net. Time is winding down in this one. We're in the 77th minute. It's 2-2. And more dropped points from Orange County FC will be really crucial in the NPSL Southwest table. Robles going off the chest of Belmonte. And maybe an opportunity looking for Zukanovic. Figueroa coming out. Andres Figueroa instructing his players on where to go. Kevin Belmonte was unable to get his head on that one, but Ryan Holland getting it now to Aaron Lombardi. Lombardi switching the field to Daniel Tenbosch, playing it back to Cody Shelton, and now trying to get to Dakota Lobsiger, but that one goes out of bounds, and we will have a substitution for AS Los Angeles. And this game just continuing to get more and more exciting. And of course, from the standpoint of Orange County FC and head coach Paul Caligiuri, Nothing exciting about this one. And Manuel Chavez coming off, and what a night he's had tonight. Into the game, number 12, Angel Vasquez. And Angel Vasquez coming in for Manuel Chavez. Ball is back in play. Canale. Now Ghazi. He's got Prado. Now Prado looking for Toro, but Aaron Lombardi. Good defensive play. It's Bello. Now to Dakota Collins. Plenty of speed for Collins, and he draws the contact and a free kick for Orange County FC. Oh, 
In a crucial time, you have Andres Figueroa, the keeper of AS Los Angeles, shouting out orders. And who's going to take the free kick for Orange County FC? Looks like it's going to be Aaron Lombardi. Sure, he would love to float this one into the penalty area and hope for players like Ryan Holland or Nedin Zukanovic to head the ball into the net. Now here it comes, shot, save made by Figueroa and it will be a corner kick and Lombardi went for the goal. Now what can Orange County FC do with this corner? Here it comes in the front, a little bit of traffic. That looked like it could have been an opportunity, now cleared out. Can Canale get to it first? He did, but a great defensive play sent back in to the AS Los Angeles penalty area. It's Collins with the cross. Headed down, maybe a shot. Save made once again from Figueroa. And he has definitely been on top of his game. And this is just one of those games where you wonder, will OCFC be able to find that winning goal? Now Ryan Holland, off that first touch, had some problems with it. And now Lobsiger making a good adjustment. And had he messed up, had he made a mistake with the ball, that one would have gone right to Alessandro Canale. Now Zukanovic. William Prado had it for a moment. Slide tackle. And now, that was a slide tackle from Holland, but now here's Canale with a chance. Still has it. Ball finds his way to Pepe Miranda. And I think you had some of the Los Angeles players asking for a penalty. A good call by the official, and now this one given away to Prado. Now looking for Ribet. Back to Prado. Prado playing it now to Saravia. Now Canale. Still Canale getting around the tackle from Ryan Holland, but that centering pass going right to Aaron Lombardi. And right now, a lot of questionable shaky play from OCFC. Now here comes Zukanovic with a nice move. Foul from behind. Got to assume the official will play advantage. Andrew Hernandez playing it to Tenbosch. Now Cody Shelton. Shelton has made shot, missed, scored from outside the penalty area before. Was wondering if he was thinking about pulling the trigger. And right now I feel like you have some of the OCFC players on that back line talking to one another communicating, getting that message across to tighten up and be a little smarter. Here comes a throw in from Shelton, looking for Zukanovic. Hugo Lopez trying to clear it out. The cross from Andrew Hernandez, using his left foot, didn't have much room, goes out of bounds, will be a goal kick for AS Los Angeles. Now will Paul Caligiuri bring on some more substitutions or bring on some more players off the bench? Time is winding down. We're in the 84th minute of play. Bello is climbing high to head that one. Lombardi getting it to Belmonte. Now it's Cody Shelton. Collins. To Andrew Hernandez. Hernandez with the cross did take a deflection and it will be a corner kick for OCFC. It looks like AS Los Angeles ready to make a substitution. It looks like it's gonna be Andrew Hernandez to take this corner. Keeper does not come out. There was a little contact. 
will be a goal kick for Los Angeles. We are in the 85th minute of play. It's 2-2 Orange County FC and AS Los Angeles. The goals for OCFC scored by Joshua Bino and Daniel Tenbosch. Both goals for Los Angeles scored by Alessandro Canale. Looks like there was an injury momentarily, but it looks like this probably will be this player being subbed off. And yes, that substitution will be made. Will be made. Looks like it's going to be Saravia coming off. So Tiago Maradona coming on. Coming on for... Christian Saravia. And the goals for AS Los Angeles, the game tying goal from Canale came in the 70th minute of play. It was Canale's header on the assist. That was William Prado. Now Andrew Hernandez bringing that one down after it was sent high into the air by Aaron Lombardi. Lob Sigger playing it now to the outside to Tenbosch. Trying to keep possession. He does evade that slide tackle from Tiago. Tiago Maradona, who just came on. And a nice move. Looks like that was a nice move from Belo. Now looking for Canale. Looks like it was Ryan Holland. And I feel like the AS Los Angeles players. Little upset about the contact from Ryan Holland. And you have Paul Caligiuri saying, just shrugging his shoulders, saying, just let's play this game. And Orange County FC doing everything it can to try and find that winning goal. And Canale plays it back to Lopez. Lombardi to Bello, back to Lombardi. Now it's Cody Shelton. Cody Shelton looking to cross it. It's not cleared out just yet. Ball finds his way to Lombardi. Now Collins playing it to the outside to Tenbosch. Now Lobsiger with the cross, maybe an opportunity. Headed out. Actually, even a foul committed. Looks like it was Abdullah Kazi who went down. Free kick for AS Los Angeles. You have to assume there will be at least three or four minutes of stoppage time. And what intense minutes of stoppage time we can anticipate. This game has been physical especially in the second half. And when looking back earlier in this first half, after Orange County FC retook the lead 2-1, just even not even a minute after that second goal, Dakota Collins had a great opportunity to make it 3-1 off a turnover from AS Los Angeles, but his ball hit the side netting. What a huge bullet that was that Los Angeles dodged. Now back the other way, here's William Prado, Plenty of space in the midfield. And loses that one. It's Cody Shelton. And he draws the foul and a free kick. Not wanting to waste time. Gets the ball quickly to Francisco Bello. And Bello looking for Zukanovic. But with some of the OCFC players like Bello and Zukanovic. Being some of the newcomers, sometimes you have to really factor in some of those problems involving the team chemistry. We are now in the 90th minute of play. And it seems like the way this one is going, 
It appears we are more and more headed for a draw. And just two games ago for Orange County FC. And just a few weeks ago, that two, that's even that 4-1 win for Orange County FC over FC Golden State. So much momentum from that victory. And since then, that 2-1 loss in Mesa to FC Arizona. And now, looks like minutes away from this one ending in a 2-2 draw at home. And Andrew Hernandez unable to bring it down. Maybe a chance for Prado, he shoots! And he puts that one just wide. What an excellent opportunity that was for AS Los Angeles. I mean, what an opportunity that was for William Prado to pretty much put the game away. Now Lombardi getting it to Zukanovic. Zukanovic, a good ball to the left winger, Andrew Hernandez. Hernandez looking to cross it. Went off of Tiago Maradona. Has not been cleared out. There was a player down momentarily. Now Dakota Collins. We are in stoppage time. Plays it out to Andrew Hernandez. Sending it into the penalty area, but a little too much for Daniel Tenbosch. And of course, it would be nice if the amount of stoppage time was held up by the fourth official, but we'll just have to play the guessing game, or might as well call it the waiting game. As time is winding down, if you play the full 90 minutes, we are now in stoppage time. It is still 2-2. Orange County FC and AS Los Angeles. And Andres Figueroa, not in a hurry to play this one out. Now back the other way, here comes Zukanovic. Playing it to Tenbosch. Trying to get it back to Zukanovic. It looks like this one will go out of bounds for a goal kick, and yes, it does. And you can hear OCFC keeper Pepe Miranda being very loud. Of course, the sense of urgency is there for Orange County FC. But by the way things are going, you could tell that this is one of those games where they know it, that if this game ends in a draw, this definitely will be a disappointing result at home. Now Canale. Still Canale draws the foul. That will be a free kick for AS Los Angeles. And Canale is still down, but his teammates getting him up quickly. His time is a factor. Now, will this be one of the last chance, one of the last opportunities for a goal? Of course, Orange County FC definitely would love to have another couple opportunities to find that game winning goal. And here comes the free kick. And it goes right to Toro. But that little chip cross going quickly to Miranda. And Miranda being obstructed a bit by Abdullah Kazi. Now back the other way. Can OCFC get some kind of scoring opportunity here? A shirt pull and that should be an easy yellow card and a free kick. Yes it is. Will this be Orange County FC's last scoring opportunity of the night? Yellow card issue to KS Los Angeles player number five. And that yellow card given to Hugo Gomez for the shirt pool. Aaron Lombardi to take the free kick. Last time he had a free kick, he did test Figaro with a long range shot. This time, though, I think it's pretty obvious that he's going to look to put this one in the right place and hope that one of his teammates heads it into the net. And here it comes. A little bit of traffic in front. 
It's not cleared out. It will be a corner kick. We have a couple of players down in the penalty area. Not sure. Looks like we have definitely one AS Los Angeles player. Players did collide. Very physical out there. What a crucial time. Now you have to wonder if this might be the last scoring opportunity of the night. Just period. Looks like we're ready to get this one back in the play. Looks like Lombardi will be taking the corner. Well, Figueroa will come out. A header. It's not out just yet. Can Collins get his hand on it? He was not able to get a handle on that one. And that is the final whistle. And Orange County FC unable to get that winning goal. We finish with the final score. Orange County FC 2. AS Los Angeles 2. And Orange County FC took the lead in the 11th minute of play through Joshua Bino. AS Los Angeles equalized in the 41st minute through Alessandro Canale. And early in the second half, it was Daniel Tenbosch with a header off a corner kick. But in the 70th minute, Alessandro Canale struck again for AS Los Angeles. And that's how we finish. A disappointing 2-2 draw for Orange County FC at Championship Soccer Stadium at Orange County Great Park here in Irvine, California. I'm Artis Takari, proud to have been able to bring you tonight's play-by-play -play on My Cujo via George Langevin Productions. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.